Scott and I am a YouTuber and an Instagrammer and also a preschool teacher and a grad student <laughs> and I do a lot but mostly my message on my YouTube channel and my Instagram is to promote positivity and gratitude in your life and that's really what I want to share from my life so that other people can do the same thing. is helping children and like teaching children and then the other part of my life is being creative and being on YouTube and Instagram and it's like rare that those two connect but they are in my head like really connected to each other where I like teach kids to do art and I bring in creativity into the classroom and then I learn so much about like being grateful and happy and then I bring that to my YouTube <laughs> No, I wake up really early in the morning and I work out with like as a thing called the Member Project. Um, and we start at 6.30 in the morning. And then it's like before work. And I feel like that's when I'm most authentic because literally you're waking up at five in the morning and like throwing your hair up and like running out the door to make it to this workout. And there's like hundreds of people who just like don't care what you look like, which is cool. I still think that it's really hard to be like mixed race or just not white in like the blogging like internet community of people um, and that's something that I don't really talk about a lot but like being mixed race and like both of my parents are Asian and so you see some people like get ahead but I still feel like the really big popular people role models that other people look up to are predominantly just like white um, and they fit a certain like beauty standard and stereotype so it's hard to like break that um, but I don't use it as an excuse to like not try so at the end of the day it's so easy to judge people who you don't know well until you get to know them and then you can be so wrong and I think I'm lucky that a lot of friendships of mine have come from like initially judging people um, and then realizing that they're not what they seem on the outside honestly I think we just need to listen to each other more <laughs> especially in terms of the things that divide us a lot in the world it's like huge things that people fundamentally believe in and like kill people over is like religion, the color of your skin, which is crazy still, um, your gender. I think we need to give kids the tools to speak out about things. Um, especially, I think in recent years we've seen kids have a lot of strong opinions about what's fair and what's right. Um, in a way that adults I think have been like tainted into political views and things like that um, and kids are just so in touch with like what they genuinely feel in their heart and they will not be afraid to say it and I think we need to listen to that more. If you sat down with someone and talked to them for a long enough time like all of those things could potentially go away and part of it comes with not knowing people, judging. Um, so I guess that's hopefully what will eventually happen is that we start listening to